Math is a tool. It doesn't have any more of a perspective than a hammer or more opinions than a cheese grater. Humans, on the other hand, are full of bias. They have unique perspectives, assumptions, and worldviews embedded so deeply that it can feel like they are simply expressions of our objective reality. When humans use data science, we need to carefully identify what perspectives we're bringing to the task and never believe that we aren't bringing preconceived ideas with us, even in the simplest cases. Let's try an experiment. We're going to work on a simple average or mean. There are three classrooms, one with five students, one with 10 students, and another with 15 students. What is the average classroom size across the three classrooms? You might have said 10. If you said 10, you're correct. Your response also reflects a specific social power structure in which you imagined the average from the perspective of the teachers. What if I said that 12 is also a correct average class size from the perspective of the students? In the first example, we imagined the three classrooms from a single perspective each, five students, plus 10 students, plus 15 students, which amounted to 30, divided by three perspectives. This gives us the average classroom size from the teacher's point of view. Now, imagine it from the student's point of view. The math looks like this. There are five students experiencing a classroom of five, 10 students experiencing a classroom of 10, and 15 students experiencing a classroom of 15. Instead of dividing by three teachers, we're going to divide by 30 students because we're incorporating all of their perspectives. This average reflects the average class size from the perspective of the students. If you feel angry or confused right now, you're not alone. Even us, the people making this video, had a hard time wrapping our heads around this. That strong emotional reaction is often a good indicator that you're challenging an entrenched concept that you believe on a level beyond just math. Take a breath and look at the numbers again. Open yourself intellectually to the idea that this math also makes sense. It is important to understand that both of these answers are correct. Both 10 and 12 are meaningful but different averages for measuring this situation. Both have their uses depending on what questions you're asking. This isn't some neat trick. It's a reminder to always approach data science with an awareness of your preconceived notions and assumed perspectives. Good data science relies on the ability to identify and account for the human side of math. Otherwise, our algorithms and equations will masquerade as objective when they are in fact expressions of the humans who made them.